Kaya C. Present. When archaeologists dug in Flanders fields, they made a sobering discovery beneath the soil. Archaeologists are digging preliminary trenches at a site called Hill 80, close to a Belgian village called Whitechate. It was the scene of ferocious fightings in the World War I. Indeed, this piece of land atop the Messines reached changed hands no fewer than four times during that conflict. As the researchers cautiously probe the earth, it's soon clear that they are at an exceptionally well-preserved World War I site. But they also uncover sobering evidence of the war's dark brutality. Hill 80, the archaeologists soon discovered, has a complex collection of trenches. In part, this reflected the fact that the site, which covers nearly three acres, had changed hands so many times. Other artifacts that emerged from Flanders clay when the researchers carefully dug into it included a water bottle in blue enamel, as issued British Commonwealth soldiers, and an ammunition pouch. But other much more disturbing evidence of the events that had unfolded at Hill 80 during World War I also began to appear, mixed in with a jumble of personal effects and military equipment. Both German and British human remains soon began to emerge. In the end, the archaeologists uncovered 110 sets of human remains during their excavations at Hill 80. These were scattered around the 430 shell craters and 1,008 feet or so of trenches that the researchers unearthed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.